Before creating a new project, it's crucial to verify that your software version supports RS10 data processing. You can check for a SLAM processing option in the menu bar. If it's present, that means your software can handle RS10 data. Alternatively, you can check the software version under the About section to ensure it's version 2.8.0 or higher. Both methods will help you confirm that your software version meets the data processing requirements. Once you're in the project management interface, click the new button to open a dialog box for creating a new project. Here, you can name your project based on your project needs. Make sure the name includes only alphanumeric characters. Then, select the path where your data is stored, typically copied from the device to your computer. You need to choose the corresponding data folder on your computer. Be careful to select the folder usually named by default, containing the time and SN number, and avoid mistakenly selecting other folders like GPS. If you have multiple projects to add, you can use your mouse to select multiple projects at once. After selecting the data folder, click Confirm, then choose a storage path. Make sure this path includes only alphanumeric characters and that there is ample disk space to avoid issues during data processing due to insufficient disk space. Next comes setting up the coordinate system. We offer options for both a relative coordinate system and a projection coordinate system. If you're working on an indoor scene and only need to measure dimensions like length, width, and height, and absolute coordinates are not required, you should choose the relative coordinate system. After confirming the coordinate system settings, your data will be added to the software. Under the original project node, you can see the added project data. Right-click this node and choose Load Real-Time Point Cloud, or simply click the corresponding button in the menu bar. If you have multiple datasets, you can also select multiple entries to add at once. Finally, to export the real-time point cloud, select the appropriate project node, right-click, or choose Export Real-Time Point Cloud from the menu bar. In the pop-up that appears, select the last version, segment size settings, and output path, then click Confirm to complete the export of the real-time point cloud. This concludes the tutorial on how to create new projects and handle real-time point cloud data in RS10 software.